Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer, uh, and I'm here to interview you. Do you have anything to say before we start? My name is Jennifer too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Yes, I can start. Uh, first, can you please share about your journey to becoming the director of the Learning Resources Center? <laughs> My journey, my journey was long and hard because I had kids and I had, uh, I was working and I also had kids to support and they were little. And so it was hard because I had to focus on my family first. And then after they were grown up, then I started taking classes here at the college while I was working. Took those classes got my bachelor's here with the VAT partnership program at UOG in 2010. And then right after that, a scholarship program for my master's opened up and I applied for it and I got it. And so then the position for this office opened up at that time. So I have also applied for it and I got the position too. But it was based on the condition that I got my master's degree in two years. And so it was hard because I had family and work at the same time but in my classes. But it was, I did it. I survived. And that's my uh, journey in a short recap. <laughs> what are the biggest challenges you face in your position at the college? Because challenges are... Having people listen, basically, and get along. Especially when you have difference of opinions and you try to get your point across and they just don't want to listen just because you're younger or you're a female. So that was, the, that was basically the challenge I had in the years that I've been the director so far. What do you like the most in your position of the college? Oh, like one thing I like most about being the director here is that I get to work with a lot of fantastic people here at the college. They, once you get to know them, they are very supportive. Once, just, you know, put yourself out there. You don't know if they'll turn you down, if they don't want to talk to you, but at least you take that approach and talk to people, get to know them, and then you become a great team for the college. What does it mean to you to be a good leader? For me to be a good leader is to be a good listener, to be a good, uh, you know, try to listen to your employees, your staff, your students, your colleagues, see how you can make an impact on their lives, how you can contribute positively to their work environment and how they contribute back. So I think that's an important part of my job here at the college. As the director of the Learning Resources Center, do you have any advice for us new no students here? <laughs> no matter how hard it looks, you will make it. No matter what the challenge is, even if you have a, like for her, she's, she's pregnant right now and yet she's here. I was like that. I was a single parent. I didn't care. I just wanted to reach my goal. I went for it. So it might seem hard, but if you try, you will never know if you don't try. So just keep going until you reach that goal. Nothing is ever impossible. Everything is possible. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>